Welcome to the Oak and Smoke Whiskey Reviews. If you are a subscriber, thank you so much for your support. If you're not a subscriber and you're into whiskey, please consider hitting that subscribe button with the notification bell. That way you'll be notified of new uploads and live streams. Hello everyone. This is the second episode of my Craft Distillery Showcase Series. And in this episode, we'll be reviewing Big River Distilling's Blue Note Bourbon and River Set Rye. We're gonna start off with the Blue Note Bourbon. The name Blue Note Bourbon was inspired by the rise of blues music in Memphis, Tennessee and the repeal of Prohibition, which both happened in the 1930s. That's how they came up with the proof of 93 proof. This bourbon is unfiltered, aged for a minimum of nine years with a number four barrel char on the barrels it's aged in, and is thought to be sourced from George Dickel. The ABV on this whiskey is 46.5%, 93 proof, and the MSRP is around 50 bucks. This whiskey is available in Tennessee, Georgia, Illinois, and Kansas, and their distribution continues to grow. Let's take a look at the bottle for a second. As you can see, very sleek bottling. I, I really like the bottling. Kind of simple, simple labeling. It's Blue Note Bourbon. It does have the 93 proof really big right here and this is unfiltered which is pretty awesome it does have a nice wood top on the cork and the cork is synthetic for those of you that have had a cork break off inside the neck of a bottle a synthetic cork is definitely greatly appreciated and the bottling to me reminds me a lot of the high west bottling i really like the bottling with that being said let's get into the color nose and taste of this whiskey let's check out the color the color on this whiskey is a nice deep copper, a nice deep amber hue to the whiskey. It is kind of it is kind of dark. There is a little bit of sediment floating around in there, which is good. Uh, that definitely shows that it's definitely an unfiltered whiskey. And it seems it seems to be sticking to the glass fairly well. Shows nice viscosity. Another characteristic you'll see from an unfiltered whiskey, the oils are just clinging to the glass very well. Nice viscosity on the whiskey, nice color to it. Let's get into the nose. Right away on the nose, you're getting a nice caramel vanilla, maybe a little burnt sugars, some baking spices, a nice, like a musty rickhouse note is also present. A nice oak note. And I don't know if any of you are familiar with George Dickel products. It, it does have resemble the George Dickel minerally chalky note I'm getting on the nose. It's not really overbearing, in pr it, but it is present. The nice Rickhouse note, I really enjoy that. A nice, like, musty rickhouse note. Caramels, vanillas, burnt sugars. A little brown sugar and some baking spices. Once again, on the nose, you're getting caramels, vanillas, some burnt sugars. A nice, a really nice, like, musty rickhouse note. Some oak. And a little bit of that minerally George Dickel, minerally chalky note also, with a little bit of baking spices and some brown sugar. Let's get into the taste. Cheers. All right. Caramel vanilla on the first sip, mid palate did fall a little thin. On the finish, the nice, a nice oak note, a little bit of caramel wrapped in it, and some baking spices on the first sip. Nice first sip, not super viscous, not super mouth coating for an unfiltered whiskey. But it was a nice, it was a nice first sip. Let's go for another and see how the second sip is. Cheers. It 
Second sip did coat the mouth a lot better. Mid palate, not not as thin as the first sip. Front of the palate, you get a nice like toasted caramel note. Mid palate, maybe a little citrus zest with some baking spices, brown sugar, and a nice a nice oak note to finish off. That minerally chalky note is definitely there underlying everything. It's not very, as present as I thought it was going to be being sourced from George Dickel. George Dickel has a pretty prevalent chalky, minerally vitamin note. Some people would say, even myself, like a Flintstone vitamin note. It's not that present on this, as, a, as present as I thought it would be. It is there a little bit, but it's underlying all the nice caramel, vanillas, brown sugars, and baking spices. It does kind of show up a little bit on the finish, but it's really not prevalent at all. Very nice second sip. It's going for a third. Cheers. All right, front of the palate, caramel, vanilla, burnt sugars, mid palate, you're getting a little citrus zest, finishing off with some brown sugar and baking spices, and a nice oak note, with a little bit of that lingering minerally, minerally aspect to it also in the finish. I would say the finish, on this whiskey is about middle of the row, not long and definitely not short. Nice finish on the whiskey. Viscosity, not super viscous, but it does carry a nice viscosity, this whiskey. Let's get into the River Set Rye. All right, here we have the River Set Rye. This is a blend of two different mash bills, one containing 51% rye and the other 95% rye. This rye is unfiltered, it's three years old. The ABV on this is 46.5% and the proof is 93 proof with an MSRP of around 40 bucks. Let's check out the bottle for a second. Pretty much identical to the Blue Note bourbon. I do like the bottling once again. It does have the same synthetic cork. It has a nice wooden top on top. Pretty much identical bottling. I do like it. It does remind me of the High West bottling, which I do really, really enjoy. Let's get into the color, nose, and taste of this whiskey. The color of this one, guys, is a nice golden, dark honey color. It is sticking to the glass. Seems to be fairly well. Got nice thick legs to the whiskey. Nice viscosity. Let's get into the nose. Get a little bit of dill present. A little baking spices. There is a little bit of greenness to the whiskey showing up on the nose. A little black licorice. And maybe a little caramel also. Once again, the dill is definitely really pre present in the black licorice. The age, the age is definitely showing through a little bit on the nose. There is a little greenness to the nose of this whiskey. A little bit of rye spice, some baking spices also. And maybe a little caramel also on the nose of this whiskey. Once again, the age of the whiskey is kind of showing through a little bit on the nose. It's a little green. You've got a little bit of a dill note, some baking spices, a little caramel, and also a little bit of a black licorice note on the nose of this whiskey. Let's get into the taste. All right, guys, I just got done sipping on some water, taking a little bit of break before we got right into this rye. Let's get on the taste of this whiskey. Cheers. First sip, 
pretty viscous. It is coating the mouth well. There is a dill note, a nice dill note present on the front of the palate. Mid palate, it's baking spices. A little bit of the greenness is also showing up mid palate. On the finish, it's mostly baking spices and finishing off in a black licorice note. Let's go in for a second sip. Cheers. Second sip, pretty much consistent with the first. Front of the front of the palate, dill, maybe a little bit of sweetness with the caramel. Mid palate, a little tannic greenness to the whiskey. Going on to the finish, which I say the finish is middle of the road. It's not short. It's not long. Going on to the finish, it's baking spices, rye spice, a little black licorice, and a little bit of a oak note on the second sip. It's going for a third. Cheers, guys. Front of the palate, there's a little bit of caramel there. The dill note. Mid palate, you're getting that rye spice, baking spice, very nice mid palate. It does get a little green towards the back of the mid palate and towards the finish. Finishing off with a little bit of baking spice and black licorice oak note. We'll get into my final thoughts. My final thoughts on Big River Distilling's Blue Note Bourbon and River Set Rye. Guys, I've really enjoyed the Blue Note Bourbon, which is kind of a surprise to me. I'm not a big George Dickel fan. Yes, it does have that minerally chalky Flintstone vitamin note underlying. You have to really kind of search for it. It is present. It's present a little bit on the nose and very, and very little on the palate, but it's underlying a nice burnt sugars, caramels, vanillas, a little bit of baking spices. It is a nice viscosity to the whiskey. And that Rickhouse note, which I really enjoy, kind of just set it off for me. I, I don't think anyone would be disappointed in purchasing the Blue Note bourbon. I really enjoyed it. The River Set Rye, on the other hand, the greenness, the greenness was definitely showing through. It was showing through on the nose and on the palate. I would like to see a, a, a little more of an age statement on the rye and see what it has to offer. With that being said, I'm gonna wrap this one up, guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you are a subscriber, once again, I thank you so much for your support. And if you're not a subscriber, hey, subscribe. Until next time, guys, cheers.